Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. So for today's video, we're gonna continue doing these crazy gonga workouts. And today's workout is gonna be an interchanging workout. Yeah, it's about to get crazy. Hey everyone, welcome back to A Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell just so you can know whenever I upload a video. And to all my day ones, thank you so much for coming back and just supporting this channel and commenting and sharing. Seriously, your support is so much appreciated. So in today's video, I'm just gonna break down a very common workout, actually. It uses, you know, opens and some doubles and some open slaps. You can do this workout in one, two, or even three drums. I've seen it in four, five, six. Literally, it's a very common workout, but just wanted to break it down for you guys and just show it step by step like I do with all these workouts, all in parts. So to quickly show you the crazy interchanging workout, I'm just gonna try it on one drum and then I'm gonna break it down on two and three. Again, really simple, very common. We've seen these workouts before, but let's break this down piece by piece. So we're gonna start this with an actual reference of part of La Mano Secreta, and that's actually going to be one open with your dominant hand on the conga, then two opens with your non-dominant hand on the conga. But again, you're gonna be doing this as a double. And then you're going to finish it off with one open slap with your dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So that's the first part. Now for the second part, what you're going to do is basically kind of mirror that with your opposite hand. So you're actually going to do one open with your non-dominant hand on the conga, and then two opens, again, as a form of a double with your dominant hand on the conga, and you're gonna finish it off with an open slap with your non-dominant hand on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put both parts together, it's gonna sound like this. Trust me, it may seem very simple, but as you keep on going and try to progress in speed, it kind of gets like a tongue twister because it's a little bit different from just a five stroke roll where you're doing two opens, two opens, and then an open slap because it just feels a little bit more naturally to do it this way, but you're actually changing from open to doubles to open slap, you know? So it gets kind of confusing, but it's really fun. Now to do it on two drums. I like to kind of challenge myself with these workouts and yeah, we, you know, you could start it off with just doing an open here to get things going and that's the most common thing to do. So basically what you would do is, rather than doing that first open with your dominant hand here on the conga, you would actually do the open here on the tumba and then everything's the same, for example. Again, pretty simple if you got that first part down, but especially on two drums, if you only have two drums, try to challenge yourself on this one. 
So if you want to challenge yourself, you're basically going to start it the same way as you started it just on one drum. An open with your dominant hand, two opens with your non-dominant hand, and then an open slap. So it's going to sound like this. But what we're going to do here is because we're interchanging, we're just going to do an open with our non-dominant hand on the conga. And now we're going to do the two opens, the double part with their dominant hand on the tumba. And you're going to finish it off with an open slap with your non-dominant hand on the conga. Yeah, something crazy. It's a little bit difficult, but yeah, let me show you just that part. Now to put those two parts together, it's gonna sound like this. But that's what I'm saying. You're gonna take something so basic as that and just challenge yourself, especially if you only have two drums. You gotta make the best of it if you only have two drums. So just be creative with it. Try to incorporate different things with that movement. But now to do it on three drums. If you have three drums, we're actually gonna kind of reference the style and variation that I showed on the first part with two drums, where we're basically gonna start off doing the open here and then do two opens with your non-dominant hand and then an open slap with your dominant hand. So we're going to start off like this. But then when you're going to add a third drum, rather than starting that open with your non-dominant hand here for that second part, we're actually going to do the open here with your non-dominant hand. So on your third drum kind of helps you develop that strength to extend and then you're going to go back doing the same thing which is the two opens with your dominant hand and then an open slap with your non-dominant hand on the conga so to show you that now to put both parts together You gotta love these workouts, man. But they help a lot, man. I'm telling you, that's gonna help you kind of develop that interchanging feel when you're gonna do basically the same thing, but the opposite way. It really helps kind of that mind control with your hands and try to develop all that secret sauce. But it's simple, with one, or two, another version of two or with three point is to really work out these gonga muscles you gotta love it all right y'all please practice this at home put a metronome on have some fun with it and be creative enjoy the process of learning all right y'all y'all already know what to do like subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day 